Gabriella had been working really hard to get noticed for quite some time now, but now for the first time a real opportunity seemed truly within grasp. While she was still only a level 2 member of the medical guild, and while she hated the nasty smell of these creatures, the Lilith incident had made Gabriella's post with the mining guild probably the best level 2 post in her entire organization. She now had the opportunity to truly make a name for herself, and if she played her cards right she may not have to spend the 32 standard day period that constitutes the southern um high summer wearing a thermo suit 24-7. Um or Aorus II, as non russians referred to it, was the only planet in the Aorus system that had truly been colonized, but it was also the least pleasant of the four life-supporting planets in the system. Aorus V or Skiun as the russians referred to it, the Bayou Guild's prime breeding planet, also had something approaching a population but nothing compared to Um. South Um City was the most densely populated city on Um. Officially it had about 100 million inhabitants, but those were just the official counts. Only guild members and aspirant guild members from the guild clans were counted as citizens. The medical guild was the only guild that recognized the existence of the non-citizens dwelling in the Great Dam. According to the medical records kept by the guild there were somewhere between 40 and 50 million non-citizens, or damons as they were often referred to, living somewhere inside of or even in improvised structures on top of the city dam. The Great Dam was a large structure built to dam the artificial South Pole landmass from the South Umian Sea. It was built to withstand the violently boiling Southern Sea during high summer. It was never built to house millions of people. Thus the living conditions that were present for those millions of dam dwellers who spent most of their lives there created ideal medical training grounds for the guild's lower level members. Gabriella was extremely disappointed when she didn't get assigned to a post near the Great Dam. While the Big Dam was basically an oven, and people living inside it could only hope to survive by continuously wearing thermo suits, at least the Damons were a Russians. Instead she was assigned to a post at the mining guild working with those vile-smelling ant monkeys. The Lilith incident, however, had made her position with the mining guild so much more desirable. After the Lilith incident, all the Aorus 5 breeding plants were quarantined. Nobody knew for how long. Possibly indefinitely. As ant monkeys had been rather cheap, medical care had not been a top priority for the mining guild until recently. But now that the Skiu ant monkey production was unavailable to the guild, keeping the existing stock alive and healthy had become priority number one, so much so that Gabriella's guild master would need to take some level 2 members with her this summer to handle all the paperwork. Aorus 2 was mostly a desert planet. Its proximity to the Aorus star made most of the planet too hot for settlement. Only at the poles could settlements exist. This meant that while winters in South Um City were without sunlight they were the most bearable season. Summers in South Um City were hot. Extremely hot. Especially close to the dam. The Umian elite either lived far from the dam close to the ultimate south, or migrated to one of the two North Pole cities for summer. The richest spent their summers in the city of Gar. Others like her guildmaster continued their work on Lot Peninsula. If she played her cards right she would be joining her master when he and the mining guildmasters moved to Lot to escape the southern summer season. Prepar